What's going on this week in Nerf? Welcome to This Week in Nerf, your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. I'm Adriana, and I don't know how to pronounce the word community. Let's do the news. <laughs> Reebok is collaborating with Nerf for some absolutely awesome looking shoes. I'm not a sneakerhead or anything, and outside of my sick Pride Converse shoes, I pretty much just wear these crappy Space Cat shoe slipper things. Uh, but these Nerf shoes will go so well with my Nerf sunglasses. There are four different styles being released. The Pump Omnizone 2 Light Jammer is Mostly orange with some neon green, sky blue, and highlighter yellow. I love the embroidered Nerf logo. And there are two variants of the Kamikaze 2 Low. The first is mostly black with magenta, neon green, yellow, and a transparent blue sole. And they're embroidered with a maximum attitude in front of the laces, which is fun. The second Kamikaze Low actually looks like a high top, uh, and this pair is funky. It features an asymmetrical color pattern with both shoes color differently than the other. There's also a mix of suede, leather, plasticky materials, and mismatched laces, and funky is the kindest word that I have. But both Michelle and I's favorites are the black and pink Pump Omnizone 2s. They're a little bit less in your face than the other ones, with a predominantly black shoe with pink splatter and yellow and blue accents. I want these so badly. There's no word on pricing just yet, but supposedly these will be available at multiple online stores on June 25th at 10 a.m. Eastern. I really, really, really hope these don't sell out instantly to scalpers, because I do think that people in our hobby will really like them. We mentioned the Matrix fire in the last episode, but now Dart Zone has published an official blog post about it, as well as a link to a Walmart listing. So, the Matrix fire is a 30-round full-auto hoppered flywheel blaster, and Dart Zone is claiming that it should have the same performance as the V-Twin belt-fed blaster, which, according to a Coop review, is 82 FPS on average. That means if it feeds consistently, it'll be a really good HBZ contender right out of the box. And with some simple mods or a lipo or a nickel metal hydride pack, you can get really good performance for both HVZ and even light super stock. Uh, Dart Zone is claiming three rounds per second on this, and Primetime Toys has a patented dart hopper mechanism, uh, which they claim makes reloading faster than ever. It comes with 30 of the famous Adventure Force waffle darts and should be available from Walmart online uh, by July 1st and in stores by July 15th for $29.97. All three Nerf Hyper Blasters hit Amazon this week. So I've got some quick thoughts on each blaster with some of the new information that we've gotten. First up is the Rush 40, the pistol style blaster. It has to be held upright or tilted backwards when priming, or it could fail to breach. Otherwise, it's probably the best of the bunch. It's definitely the most compact way to carry 40 rounds and at about the same size as a Kronos, which is Pretty awesome. Uh, this blaster makes the most sense out of the entire line for our hobby, since for a secondary, it doesn't need to be long range anyway. And then there's the Pump Action Siege 50, probably the second best out of the line. It's more accurate than the other options, but still has issues with inconsistent breaching of the rounds. And the Flywheeler, the Mach 100, is probably the most fun if you can play indoors, but the worst performance due to being very inconsistent both in velocity and in accuracy. Uh, it's also very front heavy due to 6D batteries right up front. Out of Darts has done some modding on their Hyper Blasters and the results are a resounding meh. Luke has noted he was highly disappointed with the modded results of his blasters and posted this image of the ammo showing how quickly it gets filthy. But if you absolutely must have a Hyper Blaster, Out of Darts is now selling upgrade springs for the Siege and the Rush Blasters at outofdarts.com. But check with your club first to make sure they'll be allowed, since some clubs are choosing not to allow the ammunition at their wars. For example, our park is in between a lake and a river, so tiny bouncing balls is not a great idea. Rapid strikes. <laughs> Everything's fine. 
This is just hearsay, but according to some of the sources that leak upcoming Nerf products, the rival drum has been canceled. They cite its inability to feed consistently at high speeds, uh, which is a real shame. I mean, the, the last thing that Hasbro needs is another bad product that's been overhyped. The official Nerf Roblox game, Nerf Strike, is now open to the public. I think playing Nerf in all of its forms is fun, but it's important to know that this game wants your money. Blasters, gear, and equipment are all gained through crates. Some crates are given to you through leveling up, others you have to buy, and then some crates you also need to purchase keys in order to open them. It's a lot. That said, the maps aren't bad and the gameplay is fun. There has been real photos of the Worker Swift that has been now posted to the Worker Toys Facebook, along with a video showcasing the takedown features and spring swap ability. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool blaster. Uh, it has the painted details that we saw on the render. It also features two metal sling points, which is unclear whether they're included or not. And you can see a very long orange aluminum barrel, so hopefully this thing hits pretty hard. It's also pretty cool that the spring swap looks easy. We have found some images of the Reflex 6 Royale Edition. It's just like the Reflex 6, but this time in gold and blue. It was posted to toywiz.com for $15.99 pre-order and claims to be shipping by August. We also found some more pixels in this double pack. These blasters look amazing. It looks like we're getting disruptors in more colorways. Unfortunately, no images exist other than the frustration-free packaging. Uh, they're listed currently as sold out, but the colors will be transparent red, dynamic green, and reflex blue. Uh, they'll be available at some point. Uh, they all claim to be Amazon exclusives, and there are no prices just yet. Do you want a long boy talon, but you don't have a 3D printer? Well, you are in luck, and Out of Darts has you covered with this new 29 round talon compatible mag. It is Luke's first injection molded product. <laughs> Luke is claiming this handles up to 25 rounds per second with zero consistency issues. I just, it's just so long. Maybe way too long. Uh, I've seen people like Tan run ridiculously long mags though, so who am I to judge? It's, it's just so funny. There might be a Perseus competitor in the Adventure Force line. Introducing the Monolith. This is a flywheel blaster with slightly less capacity than the Perseus at 40 rounds, though it looks to be enough space in there to be able to hold 45. Uh, in Drax Review, he noted that the rounds come inside of the hopper already, which is a great way to reduce plastic packaging. So Hasbro, take notes. That's how you do it. Uh, it has a really comfortable grip, at least according to Drac, uh, with a rubberized stock and a bump stock on the bottom of the, uh, of the grip. So if you knock it on the table, you're not going to scratch up your blaster too badly. And it's not too bad over the chrono. It hits just under 100 FPS and is pretty consistent. Um, Velocity-wise, you will have a little bit of feeding inconsistency, just like all hoppered conveyor blasters. That's just that's just physics, really. And you can fire hyper rounds through it if you really want to, but that's a little bit more inconsistent. Uh, getting between 70 to 95 FPS all over the map with a 3S mod and standard rounds, obviously. I would bet that the monoliths would probably hit. 120 to 130 and that is awesome especially for only $35 which makes it a super good value for HBZ since the reload looks so quick and easy or even for super stock you could get some pretty good tags with that uh, it does take six D size batteries which is a whole lot of space a whole lot of weight and kind of a lot of money uh, so it might be worth getting a rechargeable with a charger which I have linked in the description now it's time for the mod of the week, and this week it goes to Orange Crate 76 with Hephaestus, the Greek god of metalworking. I'll be honest, I did not realize this was an integration at first, but digging into it, just wow. So starting off with a hammer shot, we'll add in a rough cut grip, a maverick nose, an eye on fire for that bottom profile, side panels from a big shock, and I never 
would have been able to identify those parts if I hadn't read the build log. It's just incredibly clean. And in addition to the gorgeous outside, the internals are modified as well. It's got a metal trigger and hammer, a 10 kilogram spring, and a brass barrel cylinder. And I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even talked about the paint. That fade is gorgeous. And then the, the, the matte black for the handle is such a brave choice, but I can't even see the seams. I should be able to see it, but I can't. It's just so well done. This is a masterpiece that has been lovingly assembled over three years and it shows. And then just photography. Propping the blaster up on a hammer is, is on theme. Excellent work. Thank you so much for sharing it. That's all the news I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, the links to everything that I talked about are down in the description. Uh, less usual, starting now, uh, the Amazon links are affiliate links. That just helps us out at no cost to you if you purchase, you know, anything after following one of those links. So that's pretty cool. And speaking of helping us, we need help. <laughs> writing this show. Uh, so we are looking for someone to help us script uh, every other Sunday night. Um, Phoneblushshop.com slash apply as maybe you can help us out. Uh, and while I'm talking about people who help us out, thank you so much to History of Nerf Modding Discord. Uh, you guys are great for letting us have a channel there and that super duper helps me with sourcing these stories. Whew. Um, like? Subscribe and come back two weeks, Monday, 9 a.m. Pacific. There's probably some YouTube thing that I missed, but you know what? You've probably been on this site a little bit before. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'll let you go now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you could be over there if you want, if you wanted to hang out. You just have to boot Luna out looking shoes. I didn't pick mine up off the ground. Of the new information. In, in, uh, they are currently l listed as. <laughs> I was thinking about the photos I saw of it. <laughs> oh my god, even in the links, it looks as like long as the links almost. <laughs> That'll probably be the one you use, right? <laughs> While you're down there, know that they are now so well with my sweet Nerf sunglasses that I didn't have on my face. That's not my sunglasses, they're over there. There's too many things! <laughs> it's definitely the most compact way to hold... It's got a mega... <clears throat> didn't click. I also didn't turn like an idiot. They cite its inability... Crate 76 for Hephaestus. God. It, um, did you spell it right? I'll double check. But some of the source. What is wrong with me? And now it's time for. That was a weird turn in.